Welcome back to my channel. I am talking to you today all about what you need to bring to your wedding dress video. Now, I have done one wedding dress fitting. I kind of feel like a resin expert because I totally jacked that one up. There were things that I didn't do, things that I wish I would have known. First thing that you should know about wedding dress fittings. If you think that you're gonna buy your wedding dress and not need fittings, apparently you're crazy. When you buy the wedding dress, whatever you pay for with the dress does not include the alterations. I heard that like 1% of dresses don't need to be altered and just fit off the shelf. So prepare for that. Know that you're gonna need alterations. With the alterations, it's not just one alteration. It's actually potentially two, maybe even three. I move forward with two different wedding dresses, um, one for the ceremony and then one for the reception. One's like fun and dancey and party and one's kind of how I imagine myself being as a bride. One of them only needs two fittings because it's very simple and the other one needs three because it's a lot more ornate. If you are gonna be more simple, you might need less than two or less than three fittings, but if it's gonna be more details and lace and flowers and everything gets moved around, you're likely looking at three fittings. This whole alteration thing was brand new to me. Where do they keep just these things? What you should bring to your alterations. Everybody tells you, oh, bring nude undergarments. It's not just bringing nude undergarments, it's bringing undergarment options. There's small nippy skin, these are my favorite. Then there's a big version. I've also purchased tape and all sorts of other contraptions. You don't have options, you're not really gonna know if something needs to be added or removed or if there's gonna be something that is poking out. At the fitting, you're supposed to bring all of the different options so that you know exactly what it's gonna look like and they can make the measurements around options that you've purchased so then you can go buy more of the single options. I tried to buy things that I actually already use so it didn't just seem like I was buying five or six new boob hang up nipple contraption e things but options important. One thing that you are not supposed to bring to your wedding dress fitting or even really you shouldn't really be talking to around this stuff is the fiance. This is the fiance. He's over here listening to all of this. And I just heard him go, Pfft. very judgmental. Do you hear that? Did you, I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's like a boob, nipples, covers, stuff. He doesn't need to know any of it, this, but we're sharing a room. We're sharing a room prior to getting married. You know what I this is? I will still be wearing this white. Is, this is a head cover. Yeah, see, how many right? head covers do you so, have? Well, you're worrying about Options. your boob, nipple covers for your wedding dress. I'll be worried about my head cover for my golf club. You know what? It is all about priorities. What else do you need to bring? Bring the shoes. Not shoes like it, not a high heel. Bring the shoes that you're going to wear. Now, why is that? They are perfectly measuring the bottom of this dress. With this particular shoe, I could just say, oh, it's four inches, but there's also a lift here. And how this lifts compared to a different pair of shoes is going to impact the way that the dress flows when I'm walking. I'm so obsessed with these shoes. Can you even see the detail on this? Look at these little tiny flowers. I've been holding on to these shoes for almost two years because I fell in love with them. And there might be some elements that my dress, not the first dress, the second dress, the more party dress, like perfectly fits this. All right, number three, you have to bring confidence. You are going to be standing in a dressing room with strangers pretty much entirely naked while they pin you and pull on the thing and maybe like the dress is half down for like a minute or so because there's some zipping thing. Remember that they're experts. I like to think of this in the terms of my mother who is a doctor. My mom has seen hundreds, probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of people naked. That's what she does. So it's not weird for her, it's part of her job. She doesn't see it with the same lens. When it comes to your wedding dress fitting, that is what they're doing all day, every day. People are getting in and out of dresses. So prepare ahead of time, feel confident, go in there with a little bit of attitude, maybe listen to some Beyonce ahead of time and just know that it is entirely part of the process. The last thing when it comes to fittings. My very first fitting was by myself. And now the second fitting I'm going to be doing with my mother. I think it's important to, to really structure these things the way that you want it to go because there are no rules around this. I really liked being able to see the dress for the first time 
by myself. If I needed to get emotional, I could get emotional to myself. Now that I've seen what they look like and I know what it's gonna be, I'm totally good to have other people in the room, but at first I just wanted to be there with somebody who was an expert. I totally FaceTimed people and was like, oh, this is what the dress looks like, but I had had my moment first because at the end of the day, this is your freaking wedding. This is for you. Your dress is for you. It's not for your husband. It's not for your mother-in-law. It's not for the guests. Like, it's for you. Being able to have some of those moments to yourself, I really think is important. I like doing that in private. Natalie can go a little nuts. And then I can come up with my plan and I can communicate it to other people because that goes back for me to tie out to confidence. So if you can, bring the shoes, get all of the options, and then you can return them afterwards. Go into the fitting with total confidence, either by yourself or with somebody else, and definitely, definitely do not bring the fiance. If you've enjoyed this video, which I know you have because he is a riot, and this is really important stuff, you should subscribe, like, comment, share, do all of the things down below. I'm going to take you through this whole process of the details to plan the wedding that I have happening in under 30 days. It's gonna be exciting. It might be emotional. I'll try not to have too many emotional moments, but I really just wanna help people because no one freaking told me any of this stuff and it would have been nice to know. So I'll see you tomorrow.